What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about the Surefire Scout Pro Dual Fuel Light from Surefire. Um, this thing is really cool. I'm a big fan of this light. I did a lot of research before I bought it. I personally think this is going to be one of the best flashlights that you're going to buy. And again, that's going to come down to personal preference. Uh, when looking at a flashlight, some things that I'm looking for are obviously how bright it is, how long it can last, the weight of the light, and the durability is obviously a factor. Not that I'm, you know, running through jungles, but you don't want a light that if you drop the gun and it lands on the light, the thing's junk. So Surefire Streamlight, probably going to be your best in that durability game. They've been around for a long time. Surefire has kind of been the gold standard for many, many years of flashlights. So I felt very comfortable going with the Surefire. Um, when, when talking about lumens, that's how bright the light is. This is 1500 lumens with the rechargeable battery, which I'll get to in a second, because the rechargeable battery is actually really cool on this thing. Um, so 1500 lumens is honestly pretty much the top of the like weapon light area that you're gonna be in for what you're looking for, at least from what I could find. There is one that does beat it. Um, I have a little chart pulled up here. It's called the Olight Odin, and it has 2000 lumens. However, the catch with that is the runtime, according to this, which is linksdefense.com, um, the runtime is two minutes and the light weighs 7.6 ounces. So uh, overall, that just seems like junk. It's a very bright light, but it just kind of seems, what's the point in having a two minute flashlight? I have I don't see why they even did that as a company, but whatever, their, their light, their choice. Um, they do have other options with the light where you can dial it down from what I could find. The, it seemed like the next option was 1250 lumens and it would last for six minutes, which again, I don't know what a six minutes of flashlight is really gonna do for you, but you know, maybe you blind somebody real quick. Uh, however, this thing will last for about 90 minutes at 1500 lumens. So overall, you're getting way more out of it. Um, the other light up here that's kind of close is the Cloud Defense Rain. That's 1400 lumens and that'll last for 85 to 90 minutes. But then the weight is the factor there. It's another 6.9 ounces and this thing is only 5.6. And I broke the scale out to just kind of confirm that with you. So this is with the light and the mount and the battery. It's 5.6 ounces total. Um, the battery itself, I believe, is 1.7. I can just do it real quick for you. And we'll talk about that battery here in a second. So that battery is 1.7. I've done this a few times. Um, so to charge this battery is awesome. I really like the design they came up with this. So you just plug it in to the battery and you can you can take this out while it's mounted, which is really cool because it's a low profile mount, meaning it's pretty tight to the weapon. However, you still have enough room to unscrew the light, uh, unscrew the, the cap and get the battery out. Because when I first got this thing, I was like, what am I gonna have to do? Leave it on the counter to charge it, pull my gun out every time. And no, all you gotta do is use this little charger that Surefire gives you. Um, they're actually pretty specific about you have to use this charger or you may void the warranty. I really don't know why because it just seems like any other micro SD charger that I've ever seen before in my life. And they don't give you the brick that goes with it. So I don't know uh, why they're so specific about that, but we're gonna just use that one. Um, it obviously also comes with the M-Lock uh, mounting and a Picatinny mounting rail as well. So to change these out is very simple. It's just a flathead right here. Unscrew that, pull this one out, and then you'd place this one in right there, and then you'd be on your Picatinny rail. Um, so we're gonna put this back together here. It also comes with the Allen key. I assume you probably have one of these though if you're into guns, um, but it's just kind of nice that they add that in there for you. So this can also run on the 123A batteries as well. It'd be two of those. Um, the catch there though is it's not as bright. So when you put the two 123A batteries in this, you only get, a, the box says it right here, it's 1200 lumens on 123A, 1500 lumens on the rechargeable light. So uh, that's a little bit of a difference. Also the runtime, it goes from an hour and a half with the rechargeable to one, 1 1.25, so basically an hour and 15 minutes with the batteries. So they're not as bright and they don't last as long. So having that dual, that's what the dual fuel is. The dual fuel is you can use the batteries or the rechargeable battery. The Scout Pro, I don't believe you can do that. I think you do have to get the dual fuel. Um, <clears throat> so also obviously, you know, Surefire, it comes with the removable end cap so you can add a pressure plate or whatever you wanna add to the back of that. It's just simple, it screws right in. Um, I have not yet got a pressure plate. I've been looking at the ones Surefire makes and probably come to a decision pretty soon. But 
Overall, I am not disappointed in this light. It is very, very bright. To give you an example of 1500 lumens, um, I have about two acres of usable land that I can like see through before it just becomes like forestry trees. And when you turn this on, it lights up my whole yard uh, pretty visibly as well. And my wife has said, you know, if you're coming around a corner and this thing hits you in the eyes, it blinds you. Uh, I have not looked down it, but she, uh, she was looking down at one time and she was like, yeah, that thing will blind you. Because that was another one of my thoughts with putting a light on a weapon. Obviously, you know, you're doing it because you're trying to see what's in front of you, but it also kind of gives your location away, right? Common sense. But uh, in a CQB situation, normally you're going to blind somebody long before it gives you a location away. Um, this thing is very bright. Like I said, 1500 lumens, dual fuel, the battery, um, that's about it. I will show you how to how it mounts. Um, it's very simple and it's pretty cool. Uh, it was pretty quick and the low profile mounting on this is nice. So you're just gonna throw that in there and then tighten it down. And that is honestly is how easy it is to mount anything that's M lock. It is so simple compared to you know some of the older methods like key mod. And then just like that, it's in there. And you can see how tight to the rail that is. That's because this is on a little pivot right here. And you can adjust this pivot. So if you have a flathead, you can unscrew this. And you can put this down along the side. You can leave it up top like that. You can do whatever you want to do with that. Um, I did have it on the back one at first. However, I usually run this with a suppressor. So I just extended it a little bit further because the suppressor was blocking too much of my field of view. Um, having it out a little bit further did give me a little bit more field of view. However, the suppressor is usually like this, so it does still block a fair amount of the light, but nonetheless, it's still an extremely bright flashlight. Um, overall, really, really nice. Um, for the money, I think it goes for like 320 to 360 ish. However, if you're a veteran military, you have a GovX account, I believe I ended up paying like 260. Uh, GovX was also, I think, doing a sale that day. I think normally you get 10%, but they were doing some 4th of July sale when I did buy it. I'm not disappointed with it. I would definitely recommend it. Um, as far as this list goes, it's definitely one of the lighter ones. It's got the most output as far as being able to last 90 minutes. Nothing else can last 90 minutes, um, especially at that output. The only other one I said that is even honorable is the Cloud Defense Rain 1400 lumens for 85 to 90 minutes. The Streamlight ProTac HL 1000 lumens for 90 minutes, 6.4 ounces. Again, this is 5.6 ounces, so you get almost an ounce off the one. Uh, an ounce off of the the light. It's fifteen. It's five hundred lumens brighter, and they have the same runtime. So uh, that's why I went with the Surefire light. Just as far as the industry goes, they've kind of been the standard, and I'm like I said, I'm not disappointed with it. Definitely worth the money. So get yourself one of those. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel.